Today is July 2nd, John Adams Day. Today is John Adams Day, July 2nd, 1776, John Adams Day. And it should be recognized because he was the one that said, you know, you, um, uh, um, Mr. Uh, Jefferson, can you, I need you to write the, do, the, decorate, the, the Declaration of Independence. I need you to write this. And guess what? You know, he's the one that actually forced him to write it. He goes, I can't do it. You got to do it. You know, you're the one that knows the the American language better than any than any of us. I mean, he he, he even went to um to college to actually uh, to do literature. You know, that's what his major was. You know, Thomas Jefferson. So he knew. John Adams knew that he would be the right person to write the Declaration of Independence for that time for that time period. He knew it. And that's what he did. And he actually made it happen. So today is John Adams Day, so we got to recognize that. Go ahead, George. Yeah, well, I, I, I agree. Uh, and Adams was, uh, even though he and Jefferson, you know, were, uh, were against each other right. occasionally, uh, they both had the right approach to what uh, the United States uh, should be. Right. And when Jefferson penned uh, some of the documents, and they're still valid today. The Constitution is still valid today. That's right. And just as an aside, I did my DNA recently, and I'm a descendant of Thomas Jefferson. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so then I studied a lot more about him and got every book I could to read about him mm -hmm. to try to figure out how, how in the long run uh, I was related to him. And as I was reading that, I never found out. I think I know. I, I know how it happened. But as I was reading that, I was reading about all everything he has done and what he was talking about mm -hmm. and what Adams was talking about. I mean, all those, all those presidents, the first six years, both the Adams, uh, both the Adams presidencies, uh, what they, what they had and what they were doing. And mm -hmm. they had some foresight that's just, you know, when you look at the constitution that was written so many years ago, and it's so valid today. As a matter of fact, it's probably the only valid thing that we have in this country. That's right. And that's why we want to get people to follow it. And that's why they have what we call constitutionalists. People who say, hey, follow the Constitution, you're okay. But imagine these people had the foresight years ago mm -hmm. to pen this document, which is so valid today. And we don't have the foresight to pen a document that can last next month. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, you know, when you talk about those people and... Uh, and the great presidents that we had in those days, it was amazing. And of course, they did it because they, the situation was that was that way, and they had to solve the situation at that time. Right. And, and now it's time for us to not only apply the Constitution, but to start solving some of the problems of today. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen to that. So we do appreciate your time.